I wanted to talk to you guys today about at home birthday parties. To me, nothing inspires real fear and terror in a mom like throwing a children's birthday party at home with all your nice things. Today we had a really great time celebrating our daughter Bunny's third birthday party. Don't be afraid. Let's talk about at home birthday parties for kids because you can pull this off if it's something that you want to do. For today's party, we did sort of a less is more approach where we had fewer guests but a really nice time. We didn't have a ton of people. So that's my tip number one for you is less is more when it's at home because too many kids and too many people in a small house like ours or a medium sized house like ours, it's just not so comfortable. So today we had two school friends and two neighborhood friends and their families, which totaled up to be 10 children all told. And we had a really wonderful time with really elegant upscale, not just pizza and cake, party fair. Pick a theme. Uh, the theme really helped everything come together for this party and little by little I sort of hunted and gathered. I sourced some things that I shared with you in my last video like these beautiful silver bowls and the pumpkins that were on sale. The theme is seasonal so I was able to buy beautiful seasonal flowers and so everything just fell into place choosing a theme like a pumpkin theme for an October birthday. And I really can't say enough good things about a pumpkin theme. It's good for boys, it's good for girls. The things last, we're gonna enjoy our pumpkins through the fall decorating our home, as well as these beautiful flower arrangements. I was able to stretch my dollars also by buying both flowers and vegetables for my arrangements. So if you need greenery, check out the herbs and greens section at your local market. This kale was 59 cents a bunch, so it was much cheaper than buying greenery in the floral department. secondhand as well as using dishes and things that we already had. So look around your house, maybe there's a theme that just naturally comes together and it can be a great time. My next tip is divide and conquer in terms of your budget. So there are some things that I think are worth doing from scratch or doing yourself and other things are just going to make your life easier to pay someone else or to pick up already done. So I did choose to order sandwiches and salads so that I wasn't making all the sandwiches and food like I did last year for our tea party. I ordered really beautiful and delicious sandwiches and got such nice compliments. And then I just filled it in with some things from Trader Joe's and beautiful serving dishes, some unusual cheeses. My Oaxacan string cheese got a lot of compliments. So check it out if you have a Latin market near you. And I did my own fruit platter, my own veggies, and set my own table using items I already had. In terms of the cake, I baked my own pumpkin cake, you guys. Those cake pops that I tried making, never again. Don't recommend cake pops. I ended up having to salvage that recipe, but I did make a beautiful pumpkin cake that went with our theme today, and I do think that it's special for a child to have at least a few homemade cakes in his or her childhood to look back on. In terms of other ways to tie in the theme, I would suggest that you keep it very simple. I put together a simple craft that I felt was age appropriate for the group of children we had. Our pumpkin craft was like, bizarrely popular and relaxing and engaging for the kids. So this craft involved just one small pumpkin for each child, a little bit of watered down white glue with a paintbrush and some cut up pieces of tissue paper and the kids could decorate their pumpkin as they wished. The other pumpkin activity that I set out was a batch of homemade Play-Doh and a bunch of accoutrement to kind of go with that Play-Doh. The kids loved that as well. So Play-Doh plus little pumpkins, corks and some pipe cleaners that were green, they could make their own pumpkins or really do whatever they wanted to. The last thing that I think is really nice for any young children's party, especially where a party can get kind of overwhelming at the end, we had a set sort of agenda for our party where they came in, did a craft, started playing, people could get food and have a good time, and then we sort of slowed it down with a story and then cake at the end. So I highly recommend that format. I have done birthday parties where the party was based on a story and I can link up that video for you. We had a really great mystery story about pumpkins and topiary carvers called Nursery Crimes. Everybody up, let's look for clues. And this is how they get out of their house. 
It went with my theme. It was an unusual story that I knew none of the children here had heard before. It's one of my daughter's favorites, and it got everyone to relax and set up a little story area with the blanket and some pillows and to get settled down before that special happy birthday time. In terms of saying goodbye, I have one last rule for you that I think is worth mentioning, and that is to always give party favors that are either useful, consumable, practical, whatever you want to call it. None of that plastic stuff. I really just can't stand it. We have too much of it in our life. And so I like to give a party favor that is either a fleeting thing like a cookie, a useful thing like a baby bib. I did that for one young birthday that we had or something that's going to bloom and grow. In today's party, I gave a cookie cutter, a really nice quality cookie cutter. They were about three or four dollars each in the shape of a pumpkin. Since I am a fancy lunch packing mom, I do like a cookie cutter from time to time for packing a cutout sandwich, as well as cookies, as well as for playtime and Play-Doh time. So these pumpkin shaped cookie cutters should be useful and practical for our guests to take home and enjoy with their children. In terms of spending, I would say that I was really happy with where we allocated our dollars. I felt good about not creating too much waste, having quality time with friends who are meaningful to us. We will have future birthdays to celebrate with more friends and more people as well as cupcakes at school to celebrate with all of our school friends. So I don't think anyone is gonna be like coming back to haunt me that they didn't get invited. I think people understand. It is a lot of work to have an at-home birthday party. We did have to do the setup ourselves and the cleanup ourselves. I did kid-proof the house by rolling up a nice rug so that we were doing our craft on hardwood. The city is also on fire right now in Los Angeles, so that did cramp my plans a little bit and we had to be indoors for this birthday instead of outdoors. I just am sharing that with you so that you understand that this is real life. I don't have an unlimited budget and I also don't have control over natural disasters like fire season. So we're doing the best that we can. We're running the air purifier. We had everyone safe and sound indoors and everybody was really respectful, loving, complimentary, sweet with my daughter, brought nice things for her, threw away their own trash and put their dishes in the sink. And I'm really, really grateful for our wonderful family and friends who joined us today. I'm also really grateful for you and your wonderful ideas. So pop a comment down below if you have a wonderful birthday suggestion or at-home party trick that somebody could benefit from, I would love to hear from you. And as always, I really appreciate you being here. Take care and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.